لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساح وكم كرهت مصابها Okay, so what I'm going to do now is basically explain our position in regards to this. Imam Ahmed's statement, okay, is not binding upon the Ummah, even if he did say. We understand this context, but just say we, you know, hypothetically uh, speaking, okay, hypothetically speaking, we, um, we say that, uh, yeah, Imam Ahmed meant it the way you guys are, are forcing down our throats, which is not correct, without the context. Yeah, okay, anyone that rebels uh, is a Mubtadiya. We reject it. It's not binding upon the Ummah. We, 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 don't, we don't agree with it. Major Hanabila, okay, great Imams, didn't take this opinion. Okay? So Imam, if, if hypothetically we take it per face value according to your understanding, it's not binding. Also, I, I don't agree with the Imams in this matter because there's an established Khilaf. As, 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 I've, as I've demonstrated, there's an established Khilaf in the matter. And anyone, okay, that holds the opinion of ikhtilaf like myself, okay, valid ikhtilaf, okay. I respect those who obviously say it's not permissible to rebel, okay. I respect their view, I'll say, okay, no problem. You believe it's not permissible to rebel, no problem. That's your view, okay. And if they don't call me a khariji or a mubtadi'a, I'll respect it, I'll say, no problem. You got that valid right, it's a valid difference of opinion. So you might believe it's impermissible. Just say, I concede, okay, it's haram. But does it mean that anyone that rebels is a Muqtadiya? That's the issue. Just that I concede, just to progress this discussion. Okay, it's haram. Okay, Akhi, I agree with you. Just to progress the discussion. But if anyone does rebel based on ta'wil, uh, awwal, you know, uh, you know, due to oppression, etc. Um, he's not a Muqtadiya. You say no, but he's wrong. I'll say no problem, I'll just concede that. That's fine. I respect that. I respect that wholeheartedly. But then when you say Mubtadi'a, this, that, this, that, that's when it gets messy. Only because of one ruler, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so, all will end as well, I'll say as well, that I don't agree with the Imams who said anyone that rebels in Mubtadi'a. Again, we know the context. I'm going to keep saying that because I want it drilling in your heads, you see. But I believe the Imams, okay, uh, can't apply this to the Muslims of today. Because the system of governance at that time, when they were referring to, you know, and we'll get to it as well, it was just referring to Khulafa. Okay, so unless you want to make ta'wil now, huh? you want to make a little ta'wil soon? This is where ta'wil, this is uh, mubah, huh? you know, this ta'wil you Jews. Huh? <laughs> so yeah, um, again, well, like I said in the historical lesson I explained before, um, just ruler, okay, and implementing the book of Allah Azza wa Jal and the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And again, I don't want to get into, uh, you know, uh, Sharia, Ghayr or Baddal. You know, that's, that's a different discussion altogether. But what I'm saying, the just Muslim ruler, the, um, the tyrannical Muslim ruler, there's a valid ikhtilaf in it. Thabi. ليس الغريب غريب الشام واليمني إن الغريب غريب اللحد والكفن إن الغريب له حق لغربته على المقيم في الأوطان والسكن سفر بعيد وزادنا يبلغني وقوتي ضعفت والموت يطلبني ما أحلم الله عني حيث أمهلني وقد تماديت في ذنب ويسترني تمر ساعه 